pretty but it was live for a few minutes and as I sat down hey everyone happy Wednesday halfway through the uh, typical work week for those who are uh, shackled to that and uh, right before our, uh, our Christmas holidays so I had a problem where I I have a my these headphones go to my microphone a desktop Samsung satellite microphone and I can adjust the volume on my microphone separately from the volume that you all are hearing at home or uh, in the coffee shop or on the train or wherever you're at. And I like that because I can set the volume for the, my content, my games, my videos, whatever, to be just barely above a whisper, just loud enough so I can hear it while everyone at home hears it normally. And I had this problem where it was like binary, my volume on my microphone, either it blasted out la so loud that it was physically painful and dangerous to listen to at that volume or normal. Now it sounded normal for everyone listening. So I was troubleshooting and right before I, uh, the time went to zero I figured it out. Hey there Kalaka boy. Uh, happy Wednesday to you too. So we're gonna be playing some more Kirby's Dream Land 2. This is a game I was playing a while- I was planning kind of a Kirby month. Well I guess I did kind of do a Kirby month. Where I played- I beat Kirby's Dream Land 1 single stream. I thought Kirby's Dream Land 2, I know it's a bigger game, had a bad save. It might take one or two. No, this is part four or five, and then it got to the point where I was trying to get the rainbow drops to unlock the secret. Are you kidding me? Well, uh, we're only- we're only playing through one world. I'm getting a low battery message, that's what you see on the upper right. I'm playing with the Switch Pro Controller, we're playing this on Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, other games I do play uh, using my analog pocket, using original cartridges, but this is on Nintendo Switch Online, so... Give us more flexibility to swap between games. So last time around, we did play uh, Kirby's uh, Tilt and Tumble, which using the motion control in Switch controllers, they were able to recreate it. Kirby's Tilt and Tumble is a motion control Kirby game for Game Boy Color. We tried it last Saturday. Did not work very well, honestly. It just didn't. We gave it a shot. I ended up just going back to Kirby's Dream Land 2. So we'll beat another world in this and then go on to a magazine. This is probably going to be a relatively shorter stream. But these worlds are getting longer and longer, so we'll see how it goes. And, uh, th uh, yeah, thank you. Happy Wednesday, and also, th of course, thank you for the, uh, the, the subscription. Uh, dearly appreciated. Of course, not at all necessary. I, but, uh, deeply appreciated. Um, look at, so we got World 1 here. Or the Stage 1, I guess. Okay. Oh wow, we got. I I was went grinding for some uh, extra lives before we started playing. So I do have the parasol back from back in level one. Hey, these guys are. They don't like hunt you down like they did in Kirby's Dreamland One. Oh my goodness. And uh, Clackaboy is saying they're on the way to explore the Christmas goodies at a shop that sells things to the Netherlands. Oh, I'm sure they have some fantastic Christmas things over there. Yeah, I wish I could have, uh... Yeah, I've been to New York City a number of times uh, lately, but not uh, in the Christmas... Since they, you know, got all their holiday stuff out at the end of October. Because, you know, as soon as... It's like, oh, it's November, it's Thanksgiving, the month of Thanksgiving, therefore, we're gonna start the Christmas Village now. Make it a general holiday village. So that we can maximize that shopping season, because honestly, that's a lot of... What they do in places like Bryant Park, that's a heck of a lot of setup to do just to have open for only a month. So I can understand why they'd want to uh, extend their uh, playtime out of that season. I love going around until I find a. Pl there's always every year. There's always a stand in those uh, those little holiday market things that sells crepes. And sometimes there's also a. Excuse me. So we're all, we're halfway there. Only one more hit, and we'll take him out. Gotcha. We'll get our umbrella power up back. Hey, it's Ricky. How you doing, Ricky? Now I do. You know what? Ricky is kind of a bit of a has hazard in this stage. Oh wait. Okay, so that confirms. 
the, the path, look at the path of a cannonball when it fires. It goes right through Kirby, and that means that the hitbox is restricted to Ricky himself. Come on. There we go. I want to... No! That's what I did not want to happen. Gotcha. Alright. Let's see how this... Oh, that's cool! He throws Kirby as a boomerang. Because I never had the blade power up with uh, Ricky before. And yes, that's not a nickname I gave him. He is uh, Ricky the Hamster. Okay. No! Uh, this... Oh, this game. They, gi they give you partners that are just a butt to deal with, and you don't want to deal with them. Yeah, he's just a hazard to even have. And now that I have... Oh, I see. I can only shoot the... the blades. Oh, no. I only shoot the blades when I'm on the ground. I can't shoot them flying. There we go. And I believe the spike ball urchin dudes are called Gordos? Oh, my... Goodness. Okay. Hey there, Zax. How you doing? Yep. Happy. Oh my. Okay, that was close. Look, this is just a non-event to collect these. As uh, when you, when you don't have the hamster weighing you down, the hamster who can't jump. <laughs> I just thought of a really silly. Okay. You know, Ham Ricky is one of those like spotted hamsters with those like spotted markings. If Ricky was just like an albino hamster, and because he can't jump, then it would be white ha white ham can't jump. <laughs> and okay, all right. So okay, that's the end of the stage. Yeah, so we're just going to beat a si the single world of Kirby's Dream Land two, and uh, move on to our magazine in the stream. Uh, I'm. This is kind of one of my busier times of the year in terms of uh, work stuff. So my week, my Wednesday streams uh, coming forward up and through the end of this year are probably going to be a little on the shorter sh side. And I know I'm a relative, and for my, as far as t online streams go, I stream, I I only stream for three or four hours typically anyway. So a lot of these streams might be like you know maybe two hours tops, but. I think we'll be able to... I picked out the magazine I picked out for today, just to tease it a bit. We've got the December... I believe this is the December 1990... Janu I think this is January 91 of EGM, so that'll be fun. Why is it not going back to my game? Well, I've I've been live for um I've I go live ten minutes before I actually appear on camera so and I have like a ten minute hold screen, so I my show actually started at uh at five. All right, so if we oh wow I got two one ups back to back I have nine lives right now this is the most I I've had for a long time. Actually, I don't think I've. I wonder if I, I don't think I've ever gotten into the double digit in terms of li the number of lives that number of lives I have on hand at one to one moment. Yeah, so we're gonna beat this world. Actually, how do I? Okay, we're gonna. Oh. Okay, so I can't... Oh, silly me, thinking I could just inhale an enemy. 
Okay, I'm s that very generous hitbox on that uh, knight. Wait, because this is solid surface? Okay, yes it is. I wasn't sure if that was... Oh. Am I gonna need some special power to get through here? Yeah. Yeah, I think these are ability blocks. Well, the I can't inhale him. You know what, I'm guessing... I'm gonna need the ice block to get through here. The ice power up. Alright, there we go. I'll just float over all these jerks. Woo! Almost, uh. Took some. Man, all those uninhalable enemies. I don't think I've ever seen. Oh. Uninhalable enemies, as in enemies in a Kirby game before. And not, not in the way that those guys are. Alright. Oh. Well, oh, there's a one up. Oh! There's a one up. And the. Er hey, we got. Oh, cool. He's, uh, Clockaboy's entering the Holland shop now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. So we've got... Wow, 11 lives. This is the most lives I've ever had. What? How am I supposed to get him? Even a mystery, huh? Uh, okay. Whoa! This. Whoa, whoa! That. You can't. You can't just throw the first ever vertical. No, the first ever. This is the first time in the entire game we've had auto scrolling to the left. With that wind. Oh. Yeah, there's the rainbow drop. We're not getting that, bad boy. Yeah, forget it. Whatever. It's... Okay, we're at the end of the stage. One, two. Hey, we're... We're a third of the way through the the level, not counting the boss stage. Because the boss stage is just the boss and nothing else, so... Why don't we use this opportunity to, uh... Make a save state here with our whopping ten lives. Actually, darn. I can't exit. Actually, no, I am going to load... No! Okay. That's just... An I'm having an interface problem. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come here. Let's go grab a couple more lives down in, back in the first world of the game. Back in the first stage of the game. Because in the first stage of the game, you get, get at least one very easily. Alright. So, we're going to world one. And you can grab the umbrella power up while we're at it, which is always useful to have. Umbrella? You know, it seems like in the in Kirby's Adventure, I almost said the first game, because Kirby's Adventure is not the first Kirby game, it's the second, but it's the first Kirby game to feature the copy abilities, which became a, a signature of the species, of the of the character. I wanted to say a signature of the species. I mean, it's a signature of Kirby's species, I, though, I, do I, though I do believe Kirby is unique. I think Meta Knight is the same type of whatever species Kirby's supposed to be. Which, in the lore of the anime, I believe Kirby's species is Star Warrior. Oh, only 
one, and we need to get one more. You know, the first time I played this, I actually thought that you needed to collect all of those stars to get through the stage. There was going to be like Mick Kids where you absolutely needed to find the collectibles to even complete the stage, and it wasn't just like, oh my goodness. We do not want to lose health. Good gravy. Yeah, like, if you've ever seen the, uh, the anime Kirby right back at you from the early 2000s, Kirby was a creature that was known as a Star Warrior. And I think the lowest of the effect of Star Warriors were, like, created by some advanced race and sent across the, the, the universe to fight evil. But, uh, and it's, and, I what is it, Meta Knight is also a Star Warrior, but Kirby's, like, I guess prematurely hatched before he was fully developed. Which is why he has the ability to copy uh, enemy powers, because he's not fully developed. It's kind of like, you know, like stem cells can cop can become any type of other body cell. I guess, like, that Kirby's kind of works on the same concept. But that's only official in the anime. I know if you actually look into the lore of the Kirby games, the Kirby games have insane lore in them. And the latest edition right now, I think, being that... Uh, the warp stars that Kirby uses, like right now, were created by, oh, excuse me, were created by a race of people who lived on an Earth-like planet that was then abandoned because the people learned the ability to warp to something known as a world of dreams, implying that Kirby is like a the distant ancestor of a race of people who lived on an Earth-like planet that is in ruins that we explore in Kirby and the Forgotten Land for the Nintendo Switch. Let's go, let me go ahead and create that. New save point with our, what, 11 lives? Yeah, wowee. Go ahead into World 3 we go. Swinging our parasol around. Now the funny thing about parasols is that parasols are specifically made to combat... Man, what are all these pedestrians following me aggressively like? Yeah, a parasol will not necessarily protect... Oh, there's water. I guess this is a rain cloud. Okay, it makes enough sense. Yeah, parasols are traditionally made to... Oh my goodness. I am r quite defenseless, so we'll go back and uh, get this electric power up. Yeah, parasols are traditionally made to protect against the getting sunburns. They will not necessarily protect if the rain falls. Oh, I was talking about, uh, I had the, the Parasol Kirby power-up a moment ago. And I was talking about the difference between a Parasol and an Umbrella. Whereas a Parasol is traditionally mainly made to protect from the sun and not from the rain. So even though it looks like an Umbrella, it will not necessarily protect you from getting wet. In fact, many Parasols, I understand, traditionally were made of paper. Like an unwaxed paper that would actually deteriorate in the... In the... If it were to get wet. Yeah, nice calm looking Cloudland, but the uh, enemies here are pretty fierce. I'm guessing that soon. Oh my. Excuse me. Oh, wowee. What is. What is. This is. What is going. This is really confusing because. It's not like. I've never seen a. I've never been in an auto scrolling stage like this where the. This is so disorienting. Like, the direction of the... I've never been in an auto-scroller where the direction of the scrolling can, ch like, changes based on what part of the stage you're in. Oh, my goodness. This is very... Oh, my goodness. This is tough. Oh, so... Okay, so it becomes, like, a bit of a maze. And this looks like a good power-up to have for this area. Get rid of that stupid hedgehog. Sounded like Dr. Robotnik for a second. Yeah, get rid of that stupid hedgehog. No. But, uh, oh, oh, it's a, I, okay. I'm getting the, there we go. I'm get, it's a maze. I kind of get it now. All right. Oh my goodness. 
Oh. This might be a useful power, actually. Okay. Now that I understand that this is a... Um, no! How? This is... Okay, this is... This is very disorienting, but it's cool once I kind of get the hang of what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, I came so close to actually, uh... Yeah, I, you absolutely need the rock power up, too. Okay. We're close. We're almost there. Well, at least we got that stupid enemy out of there. No! We're so close. Oh my goodness. This is... This is so tricky. There we go. Really? I get through the door, immediately get taken out? Okay. The fact that it spawns you there is so cheeky. Okay. So if we... Oh! Spikes! Uh, considering I have no idea what's beneath me... Okay. I think we're going to... Fortunately, there's no, like, enforced gravity here, because we... I uh, want to collect those when we have the chance to do so. And there's not any really risk involved. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, I don't think we've encountered these spiked mummy ball guys. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be a lot harder without that power up. Okay, I knew if I waited the right moment, I could probably affect a double attack. And gotcha. You know, these enemies remind me of the game Iggy's Wrecking Balls for Nintendo 64. Which I have no idea who owns the rights to that, but it would be great if that came out for the uh, Nintendo Switch library. Up for Switch Online. Okay, four. All right, three more stages, and then the boss, and we'll uh, call it call it quits for Kirby for now. <coughs> oh, these little diglet dudes. What? Gotcha. Is that Mount Fuji uh, in the background? That's snow-capped mountain. Yeah, it's a little. It's, oh, it doesn't even look like a, a pipe. Usually, those little eel guys have some kind of pipe they come out of. I don't know, I just saw the upward facing arrows, and I wanted to think that perhaps that meant something we're about to enter an altered gravity zone. Because I'm thinking of the design vocabulary of Mario Galaxy, not that I've played that game in ages. Now, okay. Now, if we... Um, oh no! Aha! I dodged all of you. You suck. Actually, no. That was actually some pretty good enemy placement. Just well enough to pose a, a good challenge, but fair enough that you know it kept me on my toes. Didn't let me get too easy, but it didn't let me feel uh, like oh that was so cheap. That was unfair if I'd got taken a hit there. Okay, nothing hidden up here. Just wanted to check. Just wanted to check before I went through the door because that looks like a one-way door. Oh, it's one of these guys. Probably with an, uh, an altered uh, attack pattern. I don't know, 
the seams. Oh goodness. Another hit. Another life lost. And... Yeah, I have to wait till he has that, like, that surprise face. doesn't have that surprise face. He has to... There we go. Got the needle power up. Hey, Kind, how you doing? It's been a while. And when Kind, if you've never seen Kind before, uh, she's a sunfish, and she kind of flops around awkwardly on land, but when you take her into the water... Oh, goodness gravy. Oh, see, this is... No! That was a ter... Con She's absolutely terrible outside of water. And I'm sure that... Why would they give you kind here? And yes, this area is an auto-scroller. I lost almost all of my life... Oh, so you can get through to here and then be super nimble in the water with her, of course. Of course. Oh, right before I got to the door, which was probably I, I would be. So okay, at least it, it did make me do both of those sections over those auto scrolling sections. Yeah, you just have to move diagonally at the right pace. And uh, Clagaboy saying they left. They had lots of Speckaloose cookies. Those are really good. If you don't know, uh, uh, Speckloose, I've heard be referred to as, uh, ger uh, as Belgian gingerbread. Hey, I got the, uh, extra life, and I did not take any... Okay, so... Hey, I got... Max life and oh 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 no 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 yeah they knew that level was was a dog so they really put some extra uh, lives and stuff for us to grab at the end there's that little dance I love I love that little victory dance Kirby does it's so cute okay. So, just to make sure. Yep, nope. Drop, not dropping any frames. We're good. And, oh. Will I be enjoying a Christmas crib on Christmas Day? Uh, no, I will not. I I haven't even looked up any Christmas village. The only place. I mean, there was only one crepe shop, like, in my area where I live, live. There's only one crepe place I knew of, and, uh, they said they were closing for renovations, and then they forgot to reopen, so. There's that, and the, the crepes weren't even that good, it was just kind of a, you know, any port in a storm kind of thing. It's like, yeah, they're not the best crepes, but they're not terrible, so I'll, it wasn't a, I enjoyed going there from time to time. And as Zach is saying, they're about to get one step to affiliate on Twitch, and it's average amount of three viewers, which is the hardest step to do. Yeah, I know, uh, what gets me is... Because I can see, I actually happened to just look at my stats. I wasn't even looking for them. I just happened to catch a glimpse of my stats for getting to partner. And it's just the way that your your parameters, like, reset. It's like, some of the parameters, it's like, oh, you streamed, like, seven times. Like, I know I've streamed, I don't know if it's in a month or what those parameters are, but I know I've streamed a lot more than that. Actually, like, the only thing between me and partner is just having 70 random viewers... And meanwhile, like, I remember just going into 2023, like, going from December, I made a post on Tumblr I forgot about, where I was like, oh, my goal is for, for this year is to get a dozen average viewers, and, yeah, was, well, that didn't see how that worked out, but, uh, if I was in this for making the numbers get up, I was, uh, would have quit a long time ago. I know for me, I wasn't trying to get, 
yeah, because there are uh, some features that are very attractive about uh, getting to affiliate. Like like uh, Zach is mentioning the, the the channel points. I uh, for me, I feel like well, I didn't. I see a, I've I see a lot of people really like not anyone like not use Zach's, but I've just seen people really stress out over like getting to affiliate. And my experience was I just streamed, and I just kept streaming, and eventually affiliate just unlocked when I got to that point. And when I got to affiliate, it's not like some magic door opened and, oh, I'm a big-time streamer now and people are going to actually start watching me. No, I pretty much have stayed about the same since I got affiliate, so... Because then I've also seen some people really get... There's some different communities I go to, like, really get hyped up. Oh, I'm going to make affiliate. Then they get to affiliate, and when they don't have a, a sudden night and day transformation and become, like, a, you know, a big streamer, they sort of get disheartened. It's like, it's just a, a, another set of features. Don't stress yourself out too much. Just keep doing it because you enjoy it. Oh, no, you got to... Yeah, like, seven? No, you have to, uh... No, and the thing is, you have to get to 70 streamers, and Twitch has to like you. Because I've heard of people getting to all those parameters, applying for affiliate, and then still not getting it. Like, yeah, Twitch has to, I guess, decide you're marketable and they like you or whatever. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna need all of those uh, extra lives, so we definitely want to get to those star bits. It's it well uh, well Zach. It's the same thing with like with YouTube those silver and gold plaques. Well, aside from the fact that I think you you have to pay for them yourself, you don't get them for free. You have to actually buy them. Like you don't get awarded them. You earn the right to purchase them, as I understand it. And then, if you get all the parameters for applying for a silver plaque, if YouTube does not like your channel, they could just deny you the like yeah we're not giving you a silver plaque even though you met like the criteria in terms of uh, subscribers if they decide like they don't like your content or whatever have I ever got 20 viewers on my streams well I mean once I got rated by a larger streamer who had around like 70 viewers and they rated me and the thing is people w people really like hold their breath oh I hope I get a raid from a big streamer it really doesn't it's it can be tricky getting actual traction from getting raids from larger significantly larger streamers because if you're if the, if someone raids you it often means that you're sh unless like you stream till 6 and the next person you're raiding streams at 7 and so you have a it's likely that your audience overlaps and the that audience between the two of you is probably going to rather watch the streamer that they were watching before that they rated, got rated out of. Oh my, how am I supposed to get through this? Yeah, so even though I've gotten, I've been blessed with some big raids from uh, larger streamers, it really didn't uh, amount to really much growth for my channel, I would say. And I'm not saying that to be ungrateful, like, oh, he streamed me, and he, or, 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 oh, he raided me, or she raided me, or they raided me, and it wasn't even, didn't even help me that much. No, I'm just talking about the reality of how these kind of things work. No. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so if we... How? I don't understand. How... This is so much harder than Kirby's Adventure. Oh. Okay! All I have to do is not be inflated? Okay. Uh, okay, I figured it out. Like, just little techniques like that. We're not... Pr oh my goodness, I just... Can I even complete this area now? Because I have to... I don't understand. Like, sometimes I can make it across these gaps, and sometimes I can't. Like, I see that wall deep fell into the gap. There's some times where you can get across. What is the What is this? How am I supposed to get across? 
Oh, okay, I have to deflate? There's no... This animation is just consistent. It's not like there's a moment where, oh, at this moment, there's your chance to float across. It's very... Huh. I don't know how, but I made it across. Oh, really? Five doors? I'll take the one on the right, I guess. How am I supposed to get out of that? I guess I chose poorly. Oh, it puts me back. Okay. So I have to inhale and spit back out. Okay. That sounds very rude. Yay, I get to leave. What's the second door? Hey! I'll take that. Okay. So this is... Hey! Okay. I guess I had to just pick, keep picking doors till we made it out the stage. A lot of very difficult but very short stages lately. Alright, only one more stage and then we it's just us and then we got the boss to face. Really? Oh my goodness. Now, these guys are awful adorable. They're just starting off from Jump Street. The very difficult mini boss fight. Oh, I didn't mean to. No, okay. How am I supposed to fight? Okay. You're a jellyfish. You should be extremely affected by the wind, I feel, but you're not for some reason. Come on. D d that was garbage. Come on. All right. Got dodged you. Dodged you again. Two out of three. Gotcha. I mean, is dead that this? And oh no! I didn't get a chance to inhale. I was gonna say like this enemy has to be the cutest dead body I've ever seen in a video game. There's this cute little octopus alien sprite, but upset. How do I? Hello. How do I get out of here? The game, the game makers. This is what you get when you get a game made by Hal. The computer messes with you. But yeah, the company made this is called HAL, and like the HAL 9000 from uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, I cannot escape this area. That was butt butt. Okay. Oh my goodness. Good freaking gravy. Okay. I got damaged by an apple? Can I... Can I... Can this n just not be a festival of suffering? Okay. Hey! Okay, at least we got a couple. Oh, really? Oh, wow. This game... This game gets tough. This game is so much harder than Kirby's Dream Land 3. I mean, Kirby's Dreamland. I uh, know Kirby's Adventure on NES. So next time we come. Oh! I didn't realize I could just stay. Remain transformed. No! Okay, at least. 
And at least we're shielded from the wind here. Okay, the, the bubbles actually do affect the villains. The villains, the enemies. Uh, villains gives them a little too much credit. It makes it sound... Please, be something good. Here, oh. It looks like it's just the next part of the stage, but... I saw that star bit down here, or whatever they want to call it. And... Oh! Got it! Only need one more and we'll get an extra life. Oh, excuse me! That was... You were not there before. My goodness. And I did a good job with these wavy uh, patterns. Not making the graphics too plain, given there are only four colors to use. To, uh, to create the game world with. Now, oh. So if we go up and oh, and down. Oh, there are two of these guys. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, it better be a good... Oh, no, I don't even want to risk it. Let's go straight on to the next part of the stage. Oh! Okay, we're going up. We're going up. Hey! Hey! Hey, we got up to seven lives. Another very difficult but very short stage. It's, hey, it's boss time. Boss time. Let's do it. Krakow? You gonna... Oh. Oh, it's not Krakow. Huh? Oh, it is Krakow! This is, this is a classic Kirby enemy. So... So we can't inhale those. You know what? I, I just realized I forgot to... Okay. Should have... Probably... I forgot to play the boss minigames. Oh. So sometimes he does that. That beam attack. And other times he just gets up and looks. And sometimes his little... These little things show up. Got him! Take that damage. Damage, damage, uh-huh. Okay. He dips into the clouds. He shoots out a little mini guy. Okay, and we get, get him on the ground with those two. Alright. Okay, alright, alright. Only one more. He only needs one more hit. But I, I, I can only take... Oh! I was like a couple pixels away from dodging him. Alright, we got the we got the, the theory down, though. The, me the method's been established. So we can attack him when he... Little stick, sticks his little... Cloud monster eyeball... Go for a hole, like, out of the... Uh, whatever am I, am I saying, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. No, no. I missed the chance to get grab that ammo. Oh, I never did the beam attack twice in a row, I don't think. Okay. You're taking too much damage already, jeez. Gosh, I just... Oh! I... Oh, that was so close. I almost damaged him. I almost got another hit in. Okay. So...
Only one more. Only one more. Come on, just let me get... Gotcha! Whoo! Oh! He has a face too? That was but That was garbage. That was garbage. Yeah, how... The first ever of these bosses to have an actual phase two. Oh, come on. Never before. You need... Usually that's my chance to grab some, to inhale some ammo. No, I missed. Okay. Oh, I should have watched. He was going for the arc. He wasn't going for the arc movement. He wasn't trying to find the arc of the covenant. Though this creepy eyeball monster would probably uh, be into a weird. Uh, a weird artifact like that. Okay. Alright, so... Why am I down to one health and... Oh! I needed okay, and I and I unducked too soon. Of course, of course. Oh wow! I I got lucky, and the hitbox didn't register. Oh my goodness! Why do I jump straight into it? My goodness. When he jumps down, that's the chance to grab some ammo. His eye pops out, and you can deal some damage. It should have been the second or third time we dealt damage to him, and not the first, but... We'll uh, take what we can get. Yeah! Oh, I keep... Un why do I unduck? I should know by now that I'm safe. Okay, he has two hit points left. I know I have two hit points left. He has one. Oh my goodness, now we both have one. Gotcha! Now we have the second phase. What is this about? Oh my goodness! He has a second entire health bar? This is... this is something. Okay, I'm being... Oh my gosh, at least I got to his second health bar. Man. And the thing is, I wouldn't have taken that death there. I've never... You know, this... I know they want surprises and all. This game, honestly, this stage, I took cheap damage because they didn't want to communicate that, oh, the boss fight isn't, they didn't, just give, have them take half the damage each time. And I would have had a clear sense that, oh, don't, I, the game tricked me in a way that I don't think, it's okay for the game to trick you, but 
they need to provide you the opportunity to know or figure out on your own the first time around that there's still a threat. Instead, they just whipped out immediately just dealing extra damage to me. So when he goes down, you know, he's going to deal... Oh my goodness, why do I keep doing that? I need to do the... I need to duck more often. Okay, if I stand all the way at the end... Okay, I still... This is the best I've done so far. I have two entire hit points. As opposed to just one. Okay. Okay, so if I stand all the way at the end... <laughs> okay, so if I stand all the way at the end, those can not get damage me, it seems. Now the eye doesn't change all colors. Oh, come on. Based on... Okay. Alright. Looks like... Oh no, he shielded himself with the other one. Okay. I mean, I don't know if a disembodied eyeball could really have a, a gender, but... Uh... Okay, one more hit. Oh my gosh! No! What was... I was one hit away. I was one hit away. That was garbage. I was one hit, I was one hit away. I was one hit away. He had one HP left. So that means if at any point during this battle I had avoided just one more hit, I could have, uh... Yeah, I think I have to remember... Oh my goodness, da to duck! To duck, not just jump, but to duck as well. Then he dives. That's when you have the chance to inhale ammunition. Okay. Why did that deal... That seemed to deal two damage to him. Okay. Oh, oh no! I missed by the narrowest margin. Oh no! Man, I was a... I was... By the narrowest margin I missed, and I was a frame away from having done the best I... Having only taken one damage. Gotcha! Time for phase two. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. I cannot take another hit. No! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now, like last time, I was just. It was just bad luck that I didn't go into that fight with nearly full health. Because I had only taken one hit by the time I beat. I had nearly beaten his phase one, except. Yeah, I ducked. I ducked. I avoided that damage by ducking. Let 
Yeah, it seems to trigger the beam when I'm when he spawns and I'm close by. Okay, so you have to duck and not just dodge. Okay. Oh, that's uh, that attack usually doesn't deal any damage to me. Gotcha. Only taking one. We're gonna get it this time. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're doing good. This is the best we've ever done so far. Now I'm, I've, I've. This is probably should have been obvious in the beginning, but. I've uh, begun uh, watching the boss rather than watching Kirby, because I kind of... I don't need to be keeping my eye closely on Kirby. Okay, so when he does that, when, he does, when he's shooting, he's doing that multi-directional shooting, I'm just float up, he can't shoot me that high. Gotcha. Uh, you can't damage me here. Go up, up, up. Okay. Back down. Wait for him to spit out more of those little thingies. Okay. Gotcha. One more hit. One more hit. No. Okay. Go up. duck. He's going to spit enemies. Okay. Gotcha! Oh no, we still have to do one more. Still have to do one more? Yeah. He shoot, shoots, the, does those low shots. Okay. Gotcha! For real now! Ah! Uh, we did it! In exactly one hour. All right. So uh, I think so. That'll call. It, that'll do it for the Kirby's Adventure portion of the stream. And since we're, it hasn't shown up. The warning hasn't shown up on screen yet. But we're due for an ad break. So now, since I do not want any of my viewers to have to end up dealing with uh, missing part of my show because they uh, aren't subscribed to me.